Hello students, my name is Dinesh Sharma. I welcome you all in your science class. And we are going to discuss the first chapter, crop production and management. Next slide. It is important to know about crop production. As you all know, food is a basic requirement for us. We get our food from plants and animals. Food provides us energy to maintain growth and development. Now have a look on the definition of agriculture. It is an applied science that deals with the mass production of crop plants. Uh, when we grow same kind of plants at one place in multiple number, it is called crop. And the product of cultivated plants is known as crop produce. In India, the rich variety of crops are grown due to different climatic conditions like temperature, humidity and rainfall. There are two seasonal crops, Kharif crops and Ravi crops. Kharif crops like rice, maize are sown in rainy seasons and harvested in September or October. Whereas Rabi crops are grown in winter seasons and harvested in March or April like wheat and grain. Next slide. In our food, we have not only grains but also fruits and vegetables. So, process of cultivating fruits, vegetables and flowers at large scale is known as horticulture. Nowadays, a special technique of growing fruits and vegetables without soil. They are growing in nutrient solution. This technique is hydroponics. Now, we should focus to know what are agricultural practices. These are the steps involved in particular sequence by farmer over a period of time. Look at this flow chart. The first step is preparation of soil, then selection and sowing of seeds, manuring, irrigation, crop protection, harvesting, at last storage of grains. Next slide. The first step is preparation of soil. Farmers prepare the field for sowing the seeds in two steps. In first step, it loosening and turning of the soil which is known as plowing and second step pressing of plowed land. This process is known as leveling. You know that earthworms are known as farmer's friend because these earthworms live in the soil and also help in turn and loosen the soil by burrowing action. The second step is selection and sowing of seeds. For this the precaution should be taken that only clean, healthy and disease free seeds should be selected and seeds should be treated with fungicides. Sowing of seeds should be done very carefully. At the right depth neither too shallow nor too deep and second at right intervals so that they get proper air, sunlight and nutrients. Methods of sowing the seeds are broadcasting, traditional method, seed drill method and transplantation. Transplantation in this method farmers first grow the 
small baby plants in the nurseries then transfer them to the field continuous growing of crops make the soil deficient in some specific nutrients and soil losses its fertility so soil nutrients should be replenished from time to time the following are two methods by which soil fertility can be replenished naturally the first is crop rotation and second is mixed cropping let me explain you about the crop rotation this is the method of growing different crops alternatively on the same field not together for example wheat and pea plant whereas mixed cropping is a type of cropping method in which two or more crops are grown together in the same field like cotton and groundnuts the another step of the agriculture practices is manuring manure is a organic compound which is obtained by the decomposition of plants and animal wastes microbes play a very important role in decomposing the using of compost fertilizers and manures to increase the fertility of soil is called manure it also very important to improve the water holding capacity of the soil the another agriculture practice is irrigation this is the supply of water to the crop plants at regular time interval you know that rain is the natural source of the irrigation but other human made sources are wells tube wells or taking the water to the crop field there are two types of irrigation first are traditional methods of irrigation which are moat chain pump digli and rahet but nowadays modern methods of irrigations are used that is a drip system and sprinkler system first we try to understand about drip system in this system holes in pipes allow water to fall drop by drop just at the position of the roots this drip system are used in desertic areas or the region where the water level is very less the second method is sprinkler system in this system water is sprayed on the plants by using the perpendicular pipes which are having the uh, rotating nozzles on the top and the sprinklers are joined to main pipelines this sprinkler irrigation is very useful for sandy soil or uneven land where sufficient water is not available the next step is crop protection crops are protected in the following ways first protection from weeds and second is protection from pests and diseases what are weeds actually weeds are unwanted plants in the crop field grow with the crops like chena bodium amaranthus they also take the nutrients and waters from the soil and compete with the crop plants and the process of removing such seeds from the crop field is known as weeding there are three following methods of weeding first is mechanical method the tools which are used for this purpose are harrow and trowel the second method is chemical methods in which some chemicals are sprayed on weeds to destroy or kill them like 240 mcpa etc 
the third method is biological method in this insects or some other organisms consume and specifically destroy the wheat plants are introduced in the crop field the second method of protection from pests and disease some organisms that attack and damage the crops like uh, rats some insects like locusts weevils and termites these pests can be controlled by using one chemical that is known as pesticides and rodenticides insecticides they must be sprayed manually or by hand operated machines over the field for example bhc malaysian and dicista next slide harvesting this is the process of cutting and gathering of crop after its maturation once the crop matures it should be cut and gathered in our country harvesting is either done manually by sickle or the machine is used for this purpose is called harvester the two terms are involved in this harvesting process the first is threshing in this method the grains are separated from the chaff by using a combined machine and the another method is winnowing in this method separation of grains from the husk by the action of wind the next step is storage proper storage of food grains is necessary to get regular supply of the products throughout the year and it should be protects the food grains and other agricultural products from pests rodents and other microbes on a commercial scale food grains are stored in gunny bags in granaries or in tall cylindrical silos the another topic of this important chapter is green revolution it has been tremendous increase in the production of wheat crop in india during last 30 years this is called green revolution it has made our country self sufficient in food grains production and has improved the economic conditions of farmers the another important topic is organic farming this is the farming method in which entirely depends on biological methods with the maximum use of manures bio fertilizers bio pesticides with the healthy cropping system It involves no or minimal use of chemicals like fertilizers herbicides and pesticides the last topic of this chapter is animal husbandry the science which deals with breeding feeding and caring of domestic animals is called animal husbandry there are three branches of animal husbandry one is poultry farming in which the birds like hen duck turkey are rearing and breeding for eggs and meat the another one is pisciculture it is the production of fish on large scale and the third one is apiculture in this production of honey bees for honey is done now it is advised to you observe this ppt 3 to 4 times and revise definitions and learn the differences in between rabi crops and kharif crops stay happy and fit and try to explore more about agriculture